Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is our lesson 7 on Catalan Automation Tool Concepts. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you about test suite collections. So what is test suite collection? And why do we use test suite collection? And also I'm going to teach you how can we perform parallel testing by using automation tool Catalan. And also I'm going to teach you how can we perform cross browser testing by using Catalan automation tool. So this is really very important concept guys. I would suggest you guys to please visit my previous six lessons before you proceed with this particular lesson seven so that you will be able to understand the concepts very well okay please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on these concepts okay so what is our agenda item so what is test suite collection and why test suite collection required so let me show you one small example why do we need test suite collection and what is test suite, test suite collection in Catalan automation tool if you see in the diagram let's say I have 10 different test cases two test cases are related to login functionality three other test cases are related to shopping cart and three other test cases are related to registration and two test cases are related to logout which means I have four different modules and I have derived test cases for all these four different modules so I can form these modules into different test suits right so let's assume for login I have created a separate test suite. Let's say for shopping cart, all the automation test cases, I formed it as a test suite 2 and all the automation test cases related to registration, I collected it as test suite 3 and logout test suite 4. I have already explained you how can we create test suite in my lesson 6, which is my previous lesson. Please visit that video to understand how to create test suites. Okay. So let's assume I have four different test suites. Now I can logically collect these test suites into test suite collections. Let's assume if I want to group login and shopping, shopping cart and logout in test suite collection one and registration as test suite collection two. Let's assume I have to perform smoke testing. So as soon as I get the build, the major functionality which I want to test is login, shopping cart, logout. I don't want to test a registration. So now I can form these test suite 1, 2, 4 as one collection which is test suite collection 1 and registration I will be moving it to test suite collection 2 so that I, I can execute these test suite collections at logical basic basis logical basis right and also you can create test suite collections the way you execute in the way you execute let's assume test suite collection 1 i'll be executing on chrome test suite collection 2 or 3 i'll be executing on firefox so if you see here on the screen test suite, test suite collection 1 and 2 I have already created by segregating logically. The same test suites I can group into the new collections, collection 3 and 4, right? But these collection 3 and 4, I will be executing on Firefox browser. That means you can create test suite collections based on the way you execute also. That means if I am executing on Firefox, I will create one collection. If I am executing on Chrome, then I'll create another collection. If I am executing test cases on Windows, I'll create another collection. And probably I'll be creating another collection for executing the same test cases in Mac machine. 
okay so hope you understand why do we need these test suite collections so now let me explain how to create and run test suite collection by using catalon automation tool and also i'm going to teach you how can we perform parallel testing basically how can we run tests in parallel okay and also how can we run tests in multi browsers in parallel and in sequence sequence okay so all these concepts i'm going to explain you by using catalon automation tool okay let's jump onto the system and see how can we perform all these actions by using catalon automation tool okay it's really really very important concepts okay let's jump onto the system so in my previous uh, session i have already explained you how to create test suites right let's assume we created three different test suites uh, the first test suite contains all the three test cases related to login okay which is login test suite and the second test suite contains all the test cases related to logout i have only one test case and the third test case let's assume which has the test cases related to registration okay so now we have all these three test suites and now i'm going to explain you how can we create test collection so that we can group these test suites in the test collection and perform parallel testing and cross browser testing okay so here to create a test suite collection go to file click on new and then click on test suite collection name this as login collection hyphen chrome let me name this as like this okay no uh, login collection let's assume login collection click okay this is my login collection that means any test case related to any test suite related to login and registration so let me rename this okay rename this as okay let me rename this as smoke collection let me rename this as smoke collection okay so under smoke test whenever i get the bill i have to perform login functionality and logout functionality let's assume that i don't want to perform registration okay so for that so as soon as you add the log smoke collection now when i click on add it's going to show you all the test suites all test suites it shows only test suites okay if you see these are all the test suites we have okay so let's select my login test suite and then logout test suite both the test suites to this smoke collection okay click okay so i have pulled two test suites to the smoke collection okay so now let's execute this two collections and see it's going to execute both of them okay instead of logout let me do one thing okay let me remove this collection and let me add registration so that we'll understand the difference okay let me add registration okay so now login and registration these two suites i have added as one collection now let's execute this okay let me execute this so as soon as so before you execute you have to save all the changes then only it takes all the changes okay let's click on execute so as soon as i click on execute it should execute my first test suite which is login test suites where i have two test cases two or three test cases okay it's going to execute three test cases i think okay it should open chrome browser okay so when login logout and then again it's going to start with the second test case within the login test suite so done and then 
is going to execute another login. Now it should open the registration test suite. Within the registration test suite, we have only one test case, right? It should open the Chrome browser. And then it should perform the registration functionality. In the test case, it should execute registration test case. So it's opened the Chrome browser, login. And now see here it should perform. It should select the country, address, email, all this. Yes, it selected country, address, email ID, save and logout. So that means, so if you see here, let me just show you one more time, okay? If you see the login test suite has two, three test cases. Registration has one test case. So that is what we made into the collection, correct? So now, what if I want to execute? See, when I'm executing, login functionality is different. Registration functionality is different. Both are not dependent on each other. Okay. Because in the registration, I'm also processing the login steps as well. So now what if I want to execute these two in parallel? Parallel testing, which saves lot of time. Okay. So registration test cases will start execution and login test cases will start execution at a time. What should I do? If you see here, execution mode is in sequential. I want to execute these tests in parallel. As soon as I select parallel, now this suit and this test suit starts execution parallelly. Okay, let's observe now. Okay, click on execute. So as soon as I, okay, before it execute, you have to save the changes. Okay, save the changes. Click on execute. Now Chrome browser should be opened. It should open two instances and it should start execution. Okay. So if you see here, observe carefully. It opens Chrome browser two instances. Okay. Right. So it opened one. Let me see if it opens another one as well. See, it opened another one as well. If you see here, see there are two. It's happening. Registration is happening here. Login is happening left side. So registration, this is registration test case. See login functionality is still going on. So you can see another browser here. We have three login test cases, right? So it's completing the third login test case as well. So if you see here, registration is still going on. It's done. So because the registration taking a lot of time. So if you see, as soon as the login testing is completed, even the registration testing is also completed. That means you're saving a lot of time here, right? So this is how you can perform parallel testing with the help of collection, test suite collections, okay? and let me do one thing. Okay. So now let's assume when I see this test suite collection I'm doing on Chrome browser. Let's assume I want to test login functionality in Firefox as well. What should I do? Let me add a test suite, login test suite again. See, this is my login test suite. I'm adding this test suite again, but this time I don't want to execute login in Chrome. I want to execute login in Firefox. Click OK. Right? So now I want to perform login testing, login test only. So for that, you need to uncheck this. Right? Now let's see login test cases in Chrome, login test cases in Firefox. Right? And I want to perform parallel testing. So that means the test suite collection where I'm executing based on the way I would like to execute it, not based on the logic, logical division. 
अर्लियर वी मेड लॉजिकल डिविजन लॉग इन टेस्ट टेस्ट केसेस एज वन टेस्ट कलेक्शन एंड देन रजिस्ट्रेशन एज अनदर वन राइट सो नाउ आई एम कलेक्टिंग सेम टेस्ट स्वीट बट आई एम एग्जीक्यूटिंग इन टू डिफरेंट ब्राउजर्स ओके सो नाउ आई सेलेक्टेड दीज टू टेस्ट स्वीट विथ इन दिस कलेक्शन and now let's say this and let me execute now so what happens now the login test happens parallelly in both chrome and firefox the firefox performance is very slow so hopefully it will take lot of time for us to complete the firefox okay let's see now it should open chrome and firefox but it should perform login functionality itself in both the browsers okay so if you see here it is opening chrome and then it should also open the firefox so it's opened the chrome so firefox see if you see here it opened the firefox also so the firefox is slow see here this is firefox so it opened the firefox so let me minimize this and put it aside if you see at the back end background the chrome is happening and firefox is happening right see the chrome test case second test case is happening here now it's lock out done now again it opens chrome it opens firefox see it opened chrome and the background it is firefox see this is firefox right so firefox if you see the firefox execution is very slow the performance of firefox is slow okay chrome browser testing is done now firefox testing is still going on the third test case is going on okay so done so now you understand why do we need test suite collection to logically group the test feeds into one collection or to group the test suites in a way you want to execute okay so basically we are grouping test suites and then we are we can perform parallel testing and then we can perform sequential testing right so if you see here execution information where, where you will be finding these options you can perform the test suite execution sequentially or you can perform the test suite execution basically test cases parallelly and also you can perform cross browser testing and also in the same way cross platform testing also you can perform okay so basically so the test suite collection is very important whenever you automate a very big application with enormous number of test cases and you have a multiple test suites and then you need to execute them in a short time where you will be using parallel testing concept and if you want to you execute them in multi browsers right so you can use test suite collection by running them in different browsers by running them in parallel okay hope you all understand the concepts of uh, test suite collections and then parallel testing by using catalan automation tool if you have if you have any queries please provide your comments in the comment box i'll try to reply for your queries please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on these concepts thank you